Hi everyone, welcome back to another Canva tutorial with me, Sandy of Sandy Virtual Solutions. Um, this time, I'm going to walk you through how you can create an email signature with social media buttons that are working. So these are going to be clickables. Let's get started then. Okay, so I'm going to pull up an email header um, document right here. So that's going to be 600 by 200 um, pixels. So let's open that up. And I'm going to start designing my branded um, email signature. So this going, this is going to have my brand colors because I want it um, to be cohesive and consistent with all of my um, like social media, emails, and everything. So I'm going to use my brand colors on this. So I'm going to start with my picture. So I'm going to press C to bring up a circle change it to my pink color then go to frames okay. right there just gonna make it a little bit smaller to create like a border effect for this um, frame right here so I'm gonna adjust them all at once to keep the proportion or yeah to, to keep the ratio proportion um as is so there you go then i'm gonna put in my image look it up here And then I'm gonna type in now my name. So press T to bring up a text box. So I don't want this font. Um, I wanted to use a script font. Um, this is going to be one of the font that I've uploaded. This is part of my branding. So I'm gonna use that. It's called Hello Pretty. Yeah, because it's so pretty. <laughs> a bit smaller all right so there's my um uh, picture and uh, my um name right there so now i'm gonna put in maybe so you can actually just play around it and create your own um format so you don't necessarily have to follow what i'm doing just want to create like a bit of an accent right here actually I don't like it so I'm gonna change it <laughs> And change the font to my um, brand font. Uh, actually, let's stick with um, Glacial. And then the name of my business. This. Down here I'm gonna add um, an element of, or an icon of um, a website so change its color to okay so um, as you notice when you adjust this size um, its dimension is being shown so right now it's 138 by 138 so you might want to take note of the size. So I'm going to use 26 by 26. And make sure it's properly aligned. The 
is smaller. Right there. And then I'm going to use, actually I'm not going to change this to gold. Leave it as is. <laughs> so I got here my website. So I'm gonna do another icon, which is for email. So right here. So when doing the icons, you might wanted to choose something <laughs> that have like the same feel. So for this one, this is just really simple. So I think this one will do. And then change the color. And um, resize it to 26 by 26, like um, what we did with the um, with this icon right here, with a web icon. So change it to 26 by 26. Okay, 27 there. 26 by 26. Get that. Make a copy of that, and then. Put in your email. Okay, there. So I'm just gonna adjust this real quick. Okay, so I think I'm good with this. So I'm gonna save this now. I'm saving this as a PNG file. it on my desktop so I can find it so I can easily find it um, later on okay now so you have your signature now I'm gonna move ahead and do the social media icons so this one we're going to use a custom um, dimension for this which is going to be 50 by 50 pixels Okay, when doing this, um, you need to create like a consistent size uh, for your icons so they will look, um, so they will be properly aligned when you upload this to your um, Gmail. Okay, so this is our um, blank slate right here. Okay, so how I do my icons to make sure they are all in the same size is to pull up a square. Um, I'm gonna use the square one with um, rounded um, edges, this one right here. And then I'm gonna use um, this one or the gold one. So let's just use my lighter pink. So right now it's 42 by 42 so I'm gonna change this to maybe 45 by 45 okay and then make a duplicate so I'm going to use Facebook Instagram and um, YouTube or Pinterest so I'm gonna make three so make three copies of this so they are all now the same size then start putting in your icons so let's say Facebook So will be Instagram. Change it. Change it to my pink color as well. And then this one will be YouTube or Pinterest. Pinterest. Change again the color. All right. So if you notice, they are all now in the same size so they're ready for download I'm gonna download them one by one so start with this one so again it's going to be a PNG file Instagram
All right, so we now have our um, email signature and social media icons. Now what we do is we set it up on our Gmail or G Suite. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now I'm in my Gmail settings. This is where you will um, set up your email signature. So here we go. Okay, so this is my settings and then you just scroll down and go into signature and then start setting it up. So first I'm gonna upload the image of the email signature that we just created. So just click on that image um, icon right here and then upload the one that we've just created. So. so we go to my desktop. Okay, it's right here. Right there so your cursor is right here in the, on the left side so just press arrow right and it will go to your right and then press enter then you start adding again the social media icons so upload I'm gonna start with Facebook Facebook then move your cursor again and then add the Instagram icon do the same with Pinterest so okay, you can actually adjust them so let's just say you want this to oh, that's really large Okay, so let's put it back to the original size. Okay, so now how do you make it clickable? Okay, simple, but just adding hyperlinks to each um, social media icon. So I'm going to start with Facebook. You highlight it and then click on this link icon right here. Then you add your, fa your link to your Facebook page. So it's going to be facebook.com slash Sandy Solutions. Okay, then I'm going to do the same with Instagram. I'm going to highlight it, then click um, this link icon, then put in the link that Instagram.com slash Sandy Solutions. Okay, then do the same with Pinterest. I'm not sure with my Pinterest link yet, so I'm going to leave it for now. And it, for this one right here, um, I wanted to make sure that it goes to my website so I'm gonna highlight that one as well and then put in my website sandy solutions com okay so once ready all you have to do now is to save it so I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna create or compose an email so you guys can see if they are working so let's it up okay, make this big beer okay so I'm gonna send this to my business email test email I'm gonna say blah 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 yes okay so if we're gonna send this now Okay, and I'm going to open my um, other email because this is my personal email. So I'm going to open my G Suite and check if those icons are working. Okay, so I think we just got the email. All right, so we got here now our email. So I'm going to click on the social media icons right here to see if they're working. So I'm going to start with Facebook. All right, so it opens um, my Facebook. Uh, this, this opens my Facebook page. 
it's taking its time to load. Oh, I'm so sorry. My internet is really slow. Opens my Facebook my Facebook page, so I'm gonna do the same for Instagram. So click on that, and it goes right straight to my Instagram, um, Sandy Solution. So there you go. All right. So our links are working. <laughs> they are clickable. And your email signature now looks branded. So simple as that. It may just takes um it takes so much of your time. So it's it took us like 18 minutes to do the email signature and set it up on our Gmail. So yeah, I think it will take around 15 to 20 minutes to have this set up. But I hope you find this helpful. Let me know if you have questions. You can drop them by on the comments or you can send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.